are soldiers there, all wearing gas masks. I moved closer and saw that they were fiddling with some kind of device. The device was emitting purple smoke outside. <laughs> Just then, for the first time, the bell rang throughout the town. I reacted with fear and left the tower as fast as I could. When I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. I covered my nose and mouth and ran home. Quite a story. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today, when it rains, a minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. This town is dirty, York. If what you say is true, then the killer is someone who is badly affected when it rains. Is there a connection between the red seeds and the gas, then? This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe
if someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. you one thing then, Harry. You're a businessman. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. York, at times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this. Everything changes in form. There isn't a single thing that can maintain its shape for eternity. Overlook this fact. You'll be making a big, big mistake. Well, quite a lot of information to be gathered there, and a very random ending to the encounter with Harry. Got a little aggressive, but that is the 13th bell. A little over 9 hours, 13 days, 244 enemies killed, zero continues still. And we go to the money-making portion. 380 bucks plus almost three grand. Back up to 15k. Sweet deal. Yeah, that was probably one of the longer cutscenes in the game. Get a little bit of the town's back history there and figure out who the old raincoat killer was and what happened to the town forever ago. And why people still go kind of crazy today, or don't like going out when it rains, because there's still gas in the soil that comes out when it rains. And it's raining now, what a great sign. York, we found Thomas. He's at his house, right? How did you know that? Timing, Emily. Good timing. Ugh, whatever. Just get in. George is heading over there already. Let's get a move on. Of course, you want me to drive, even though you drove here. Zach, things are finally starting to come together. All we need now is for Thomas to fill in the blanks in our new legend. All right, so we get to go to Thomas's house, which is a mere 6,000 yards away. However, this is one of the fastest, probably regular vehicles in the game. You can actually go up to about 75 with the boost on. But because I find the boost to be extremely annoying, I'm not going to use it. Still, we go about 67 or 68. Roughly around there somewhere. Close to 70. Just regularly, which is pretty good. So we'll get there in only 20 minutes time as opposed to 40 minutes. This is also probably one of the longest drives in the game, like 6,000 yards away? Like, come on now. I swear half of the game is just me driving around like an idiot. About 2,000 yards. Only 4,000 to go. And of course, there is there are absolutely no dialogue sequences here. The handling of this car is actually pretty 
okay too, compared to the other cards in the game. It's funny because one of the DLC cars has better handling, like that's what it's tagged as. Like they had, their, the car handling in this game is so bad that when they came out with DLC, they made a car that handles better, and that's what they marketed it as. Like, whatever. I just wish they would talk to each other. I guess I'll go this way. Seems to be the correct way. Someone park in the middle again? Yeah, of course they did. Douchebag. Should get out of the car and write that guy a ticket. Just because. Alright, let's see how well this baby turns. Well, <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than uh, than the usual cars we're given. I still can't turn corners at full speed. I really wouldn't expect to, but oh shit, yeah. I really wouldn't expect to, but you know. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! That was amazing. You guys see that? That was amazing. I flipped over because I turned so sharply. That was pretty sweet. Was Thomas living in a hotel? Like, what the hell? What's happening? We received an anonymous call informing us that Thomas returned home. I sent Emily to get you right away. No idea who made the call? No. That's why I came on ahead, to see if the information was correct. A light did come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. It was Thomas. Okay. I'm going in then. You two wait here. We'll be ready to burst in at any moment. Just call out. This place seriously looks more like a hotel or a motel than Zach, an apartment complex. It's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. Alright, let's... Bust down this door and shoot Thomas in the face. Come on. Of course he did it. Song has already finished playing. What was this song? Pretty sure this was the song that his sister was singing at the bar. Oh, God damn it. I have to find clues? Son of a bitch.
too much noise. You're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. <laughs>